Hey guys, it's Alpha Hunter with Alpha Hunter Tactical Design. Just wanting to uh, do a long, long overdue video on my first collaboration with Jake Hoback, the uh, A10 Alpha. Jake named it, and then I threw in the Terminator because when I first saw it, when Jake sent me some pictures of the uh, the progress of the knife being made, I was like, man, that thing just looks like a tank. Looks like it could pretty much take on anything. So I dubbed it the Terminator, and uh, this video has been long overdue. Here it is, guys. It's a, really a good size. It's a flipper, and uh, this is the prototype, so it's a little bit different than the run of seven that we did as far as the blades still. Uh, plus, I, I did not want a thumb stud, so it gave it a cleaner look to me because uh, it just flips so nice. But I'll get back to that here in just a second. Anyways, uh, give you a little bit of history on it. Uh, Jake used point two hundred uh, tie slabs on each side, and then he used a CPM one fifty four blade, three and a half inch, point um, one forty stock. So it's it's really a slicer. It's not my typical overbuilt. Uh, you know me, I like three sixteenths and up. <laughs> but this this is a slicing machine, um, and Jake puts a really good edge on it. But it is uh, when I first got this last year from Jake, it had a, a polished tie handle and just a standard acid wash finish. Uh, Jake's mixed it up a little bit over the last year, and I sent it back last week and uh, or two weeks ago, and just got it back last week. But I had Jake uh, bead blast and then tumble the frame, and then he darkened the tie and uh, tumbled it as well. Um, and I think it turned out really good. Also, it was not tap for tip down or tip up carry, so I had him tap it over here so I could carry it like, you know, tip down or tip up. Sorry, I keep getting that mixed up. But anyways, I just want to give you a little bit of a, a preview of this knife. Um, he put the fullers on here, and I love that. You know, uh, another thing, this knife serves as a great, you know, less lethal combat weapon. I don't know how less lethal a skull crusher is, but um, just the design of the frame, it could act as a skull crusher, blade open as well. And the ergonomics on this frame are amazing. Um, it is one of the most comfortable knives you'll ever hold in your hand. It just grips perfectly in the hand with jimping everywhere. Uh, Jake's also changed his uh, his jimping. Back then he did more of a file pattern. Now it's more of a deep jimping as you see on the frame, which I'm, I'm a bigger fan of the of the, the bigger jimping, the more spaced out. But it's still, it's real aggressive. It, it bites into your thumb. It's not going to slip. And he's got jimping on the back as well. Um, Guys, this knife is built like a tank. It is very, very strong, very overbuilt. A lot of people are like, what are these little screws here? Well, back then, Jake had a, an idea. This is running on a micro roller bearing system. And Jake's thought was, you know, instead of having to completely take the knife apart to lube the bearings, why don't I just put little screws that have access directly to the bearing system? And all you got to do is drop, a, take these little screws out, and drop your oil down into the frame or down into the bearing system and it, it, it works really well and guys I'm using my iPhone so the video is not that great as far as here, let me see if I can there we go close in on that um, but these little bearings come out and or these little screws come out and give you direct access to the bearing system so all you gotta do is take your little drop of let's say rim oil with Teflon drop it down in there and uh, it relubes those bearings for you but let's get to the, the bearing system and how fast this thing flicks. I mean, guys, it's lightning fast. It is, it's one of the best flippers I've ever held or used. You can see how fast that is. I'm not flicking my wrist. It's just that smooth. In the background, you'll see my all-time favorite production knife. Uh, I was a cheerleader for this knife for over a year for the Kershaw guys in ZT. Uh, Thomas and the crew did a great job on the ZT560-561 series with uh, Rick Hinder. And uh, this has a custom scale that Peter made me, Peter R. Rosenti. Um, you know, Peter and I do a lot of stuff together as well. But he made me this custom scale. But when this knife came out, it was just really impressive. Um, I held it at Blade last year and got to play with it for a little bit, but Thomas would not let me take off with it. So I was stuck waiting a year before I could actually get my hands on one. And uh, thanks to Big J over at EDC Canada, 
and uh, Kershaw guy, they got they made sure I got my uh, 560 and 561 fix. But this thing flips really great for a for a knife. I mean, it's running on a uh, a bearing system called KVT, and it fl flips really really good. And uh, and I just kind of wanted to do a little comparison of the two. The actions are very similar, okay, with Jake's knife. And it's buttery smooth and lock-up solid. You can see how fast that action is. And if you if I can get in here, you can show you. Lock-up's probably at about 36 to 40 percent. And uh, it's it's a fairly decent early lock-up, and it locks up solid. He put a 3 16th lock on it for me, so... Uh, this this back here, this lock stop is three sixteenths thick, so it's 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 beefy. Um, I'm really happy with uh, the tune up that Jake gave it. Um, I've been really pleased with the the overall knife itself over the last year, and it works great. I've chopped uh, branches with one swipe on my uh, my tree outside, trimming the tree, just taking it, chopping it down like that, and it just it just it whacks the branches off really nicely. I think Shocks did a video on YouTube. Uh, Shocks one Nick, my Hawaiian brother, um, he did a video where he took his Terminator and literally chopped a small tree down with it. So these knives are pretty rough and aggressive, um, but smooth as silk. Once again, the, 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 the flipping action. And forgive the video, guys. It's iPhone. But it's smooth. And it's fast. And there it is next to a 560. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, horrible, horrible video. Um, but at least you can kind of see what the knife is and what it's about and the action on it and how fast it is. I mean, it's if you add a little bit of a wrist action, it's it's like an automatic. I mean, it's, it's just crazy fast and smooth. So um, Jake also carbonizes the lock, so... You know, you got some some extra wear uh, prevention there. So the knives, you know, Jake's knives are are meant to be used hard, and they hold up. So guys, if you do not have a Jake Hoback knife, get on the list. Uh, he and I are currently working on a A15, which is a four inch version, uh, bigger version of the A10. There are some differences in it. Um, Jake's also using a new bearing system similar to the 560 series that ZT's using. And uh, we're doing what's called the custom alpha grind, and he's he's putting uh, grinds that you can literally see, kind of like a Hinderer custom grind or a Mick Strider or Dwayne Dwyer custom grind. You'll see the grinds; they'll be showing off. And we're using a 316 stock of M4 steel uh, with a 316 titanium frame slab with lightning uh, strike carbon fiber and uh, tie bolster. Um, so it should be a pretty impressive frame lock flipper. Hopefully we'll have those out in the next three to four weeks, and that's uh, he called. You know, we're calling it the Alpha Grind A15. It'll have lightning strike carbon fiber, titanium bolster with the uh, the um, his orange pill anodized finish, which you'll get ready to see here in a minute on a video I'm going to do on our warhorse. Um, God bless. Thanks for watching. Sorry if I rambled a little bit too much, um, but I wanted to just see this knife. So pick up a hoback, and you will be impressed. Thank you.